I'm really ready to check my car. It sounded like I ran over like a cat or something. Or like a trash can. No animals were hurt doing this production this vlog. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? No animals. Hello, it is your girl Kyra here. So I'm a little late starting on the vlog train. This is just a test run to see how my day goes. But it's your girl Kyra here, interpreter of African American history and culture motivational and spiritual speaker i am here i am back um a lot of you all probably saw my relationship goals video and that was episode two if you haven't seen it go check it out and go check out the first one i am here down in jackson just about to do a couple of things do some very interesting things actually i don't really know what the heck we're really gonna I'm here with my friend Marvell. Hello. So yeah, we're about to go and experience Jackson. So y'all just stay tuned. All right. Be back in a little bit. All right. So now we're about to try to head out and find out what else we're going to do. There's a place called Jackson Volcano. Ah, why is that bad? Like right there. You got this. <laughs> I better have it. <laughs> My insurance. <laughs> Jackson Volcano. In There's a, a volcano in Mississippi? Yep, in a stink volcano 2,900 feet beneath the city of Jackson, Mississippi. Under the Mississippi Coliseum. Dang, it looks like I can't drive at all. It's about 66 million years old. 66? What? 66 million. I'm not even... <laughs> uh, oh shoot, look at her. We don't know where we're going, sweetheart. You can come on past us. We really don't. So I think what we're going to do is go and take a look at one of my favorite HBCUs, which is what? Jackson, Jackson State University. And... Yeah, we're not gonna do too much, y'all, because Auntie Rona ain't out here playing in these streets. You understand what I'm saying? It's Rona, not. So we're gonna we're gonna we we're gonna go and go and see what we can look at. Oh, okay. Mama, if we get hit, insurance will cover it. I hope. I think. I don't know. I have full coverage, so I'm hoping that my insurance will cover like whatever it is that I have to do. Zoom in a little bit. Jackson State University is one of the first established HBCUs here in Mississippi. Is that a cop? Oh, okay. Oh. No, just a charger. I'm not a fan of chargers, really. Really? No, I'm not. What's your dream car? My dream car, one of them is an Audi. of the university. Honey, we are not on campus now. <laughs> yeah, not. I don't know where we're going, y'all. It might just be a vlog day of not us experiencing Jackson, but experiencing us getting lost as hell. That's a nice side of Why is this car behind me? Get away from behind me. I don't know where I'm going. You know how it is when you're like trying to find somewhere to go 
and people are just like driving right up on you it's like they know that they're that you're lost and like they want to make sure you know like hey since you're lost get the freak out of our way did you really just knock on my window marvell i did I don't know why I thought that was going to be something. Did you say historical markers in Memphis? I did. We are not in Memphis we anymore. Not. <laughs> We're not in Memphis anymore. <laughs> oh, shut up, will you? This car. Why don't you car? Oh, you oh. Yeah, I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm about to put it on. Where are your seatbelts, people? I was just trying to get adjusted in my seat. Where your and that car just came out of nowhere. Jackson Historical Market is just a list. There's one by the Governor House. Well, I don't want to see his mansion right now. Um, <laughs> we just got the state flag taken down, y'all. Mississippi represents, okay? Oh, they can't hear you, Marvel. Oh, they can't hear me? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to think you're rude. <laughs> like, wait, did he just yell? Yes, Marvel is very mean, people. I he, yells, he yells at me all I, the time. The lies you tell, girl. Oh, my God. Not lies. Not lies. All right, lies is an offensive word. <laughs> you're just simply stretching. Something is, that is not true, you know? Yeah, well, we gotta figure out something. Oh, I know one place we're definitely gonna go visit, and I think that's what we should go visit right now, actually. One of the greatest civil rights leaders of all time, y'all. See, it says Medgar Evers Boulevard. Where do I go? Five Do I exit here? Yes. Oh, okay. Say so what? That chicken that her car, she was angry, she was yelling at her phone. I don't like when people be snapping and they driving. I'm like, don't t don't take it out of my car. Cause then you're gonna have a second reason to be angry and pissed off. And that's when Kyrisha gonna come out. Kyrisha. Yeah, Kyrisha. I be trying to keep Kyrisha tucked in. God has been truly working on me and my spirit. I think mine's Zabian. With a Z. Zamian? Zamian. <laughs> what is this? For 25 minutes, I timed that stuff. <laughs> right here? Yeah. All right. Margaret W. Alexander Drive. And then it's right there. I don't know if we can. Where can we park? Oh my gosh all right guys so you're about to see a real really 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 good piece of history so i think we should just do a u-turn you think like a and park yeah. that way yeah. yeah all right so we are at the mr medgar and mrs Evers williams home and so that's what we're going to take a look at right now actually so you ready? Yep. Okay. So this here is the Everest's home. Um, back in 1963. I'm actually going to turn the camera around so you all can 
hear me talking about this stuff. Me and my dear friend here, we interpret this history all the time. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to record this in case some of you all want to stop and read it and just pause the video for a second. Do you get like a different feeling like every time we come here? This isn't our, yeah, this isn't our first time. It's not our first rodeo, y'all. I get a sense of sadness. Yeah. So this story means so much to me because I am a black Mississippi native, but um, Mr. Medgar Evers, he was the field secretary of the NAACP here in Jackson, Mississippi. He was very adamant about black people living and having a better life here in Mississippi. He was helping with voter registration, desegregation of the business here, businesses here in Mississippi. And he also pushed for young people, you know, to be able to have a voice also as well in the movement. Unfortunately, his activism and his her heroism and his just his role completely in the movement, unfortunately, it will be shattered. So yes, on June 12th, 1963, unfortunately, um, his activism and heroism would be, will come to an end because a man by the name of Byron Dale Beckwith, he would assassinate Medgar Evers on this night, right outside of his home. His three young children and his wife, Mrs. Murley, was home that night. And, um, yeah. It's it's pretty I can't really find the words cuz like I said every time I come here I get a different feeling. But um Let me just say this. For every black Mississippian that is looking at this right now, the reason you have the rights you have in this state to this day it's because of a man named Medgar Evers. There were so many other people in Mississippi, but he was one of the first ones to really get deep in the trenches to try to get us our rights. So you all never, ever forget that. My lighting is kind of bad, but oh well. Let y'all see some of these other photos. When you think about it, you know, it's just crazy because a lot of young people don't even know his name today. They don't. But then again, a lot of them don't really get the opportunity to learn about the civil rights movement. Yeah, just in deep, deep uh, detail. In deep detail. That's, that's very true, too. Yeah. They must have just put this out because the anniversary was just a few weeks ago. So we're about to leave the home now. Um, we didn't get a chance to get out on Jackson State's campus because for other reasons, but <laughs> you all saw the little flags, those blue and white flags let you know that JSU is in the building. Okay, Sonic Boom of the South is in the building. And we went and saw Mr. Medgar Evers and Miss Merle Evers', Miss Merle Evers Williams home. So we're about to get ready to head back out. I wasn't trying to leave you. It's okay. Uh. I don't know. I think a lot of people don't realize just how important history is. They don't. You know? They don't know their history. If they did, then a lot of stuff wouldn't be happening right now, to be honest. Not repeating itself. Right. You know? So everyone, I hope that you all have enjoyed this mini vlog with me and my dear friend Marvell. <laughs> and so we'll be back with another vlog um, very shortly. I just want to do a test run to see how this goes. I hope you all enjoyed seeing a very historic site and a site that is very dear to my heart. I do a lot of stuff on Mr. Medgar and his legacy so you'll be able to look forward to seeing more stuff really soon thank you all so much you all know what i always say make sure you stay up and stay blessed and stay black and proud <laughs> and proud <laughs> y'all have a good one peace <laughs>